Welcome everybody, it's Telm. I got more I have more information on Black Ops 3 and all well mainly just my opinion on how I felt about playing it. So so let's get right into it. First things first, I wanted to get rid of the stuff I didn't like. So just, uh, just like Black because you know, just I wanna get them out of the way. So first we'll start off the things that are just me problems that no one else in the world would have these problems. Well, I guess other people could, but one thing is falling. Well, I I don't like since it's so easy to fall off in this game. The map it shouldn't count as a death. And I know it does in all the other Call of Duty's, but I just didn't like it really in this one. So and that's just one thing. Also, the audio. Even if I was wearing my three hundred dollar headset and uh, and awareness, I still couldn't hear anybody walking by. I, I hope they fix that in the actual game, which I'm I'm pretty sure they will. And then um, now let's get to other things. Why I, what I really didn't like. I didn't really I really hated the melees. I couldn't. I thought I was going to like them, but I was all always just running hating them. And then just every now and then did one hit kill. Just but I didn't really like it. Um, I know they said it was going to take two hits to kill everybody from now on, but. I thought, I really thought I was going to like it, but I was kind of disappointed with it because just, I, it was just so difficult to use and it just is a waste of time now, pretty much. And then the other thing is, reloading, this is just another just me problem. Reloading is just, just when you reload when you run, because that's usually how I stop myself from reloading to start to run, which is just all most people don't do that they like melee or something to stop but that but that's just something just a little thing and now this is this thing is pretty annoying for me that almost all the walls are made out of paper i didn't know we were going i wasn't expecting co play in japan with paper walls i thought i i thought i knew the walls were going to be like you can sh i'm not saying you should not be able like i interrupted myself but and I'm not saying you should not be able to shoot through the walls. I'm just saying that I think it's a little too much in this game. So I didn't like that. Even things that you would think you couldn't shoot through, you'd be able to shoot through. And then this one is the most annoying, the most annoying. Where you can hack AI things with the black hat. So if you earned your UAV, you got your five kills, earned it. and Or if you earned your... Uh, I want to call it a ward or the hind, I think it is. I don't know if it's from the ghost, but the little thing, the thing that shoots up in the air and shoot and just goes in the air and shoots people. And then you got your your nine kill streak to get it. And then you just. Then someone who's just hiding in a corner did nothing the whole game, just been dying. And they just hid in a corner for a couple seconds and hacked it. Oh, I worked so hard for that. And you did not. You got your kills, but I stood in a corner and stole it. That one I found to be very annoying. Very annoying. That's the worst thing they did. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Okay. I'm just going to say it was a so annoying. So I couldn't handle it. And then, uh, so that's enough of the negative things. Let's just get to the kind of. I like them kind of. I think they could have been a little better though. The. Score streaks. I I like the score streaks. I just think they could have been a little bit better because I might have gameplay of it. That I'll show you guys. Um, it also has a really sick set vector. Um, Cooper just five combo. So I'll have that video up soon. And I, if you guys watch that video, it's, it's really difficult to use the mothership. And of course, there's still one more classified um, score streak that hasn't been revealed. So. There's still that, and then the maps. I liked, I liked evac, and I didn't like hunted at all or combine. I didn't like those two, and stronghold was okay, but I, but I didn't, I didn't really like the structure of them, of of haunted and and um, combine. Combine was bad. If you walked anywhere within the middle of that map, you were dead. Okay, now let's get to the positive things. There's way more of those. Okay, guns and their attachments. I don't want to spend too much time on these ones because I'm going to make a separate video for these, specifically on guns and all anything in class. So, 
Um, the guns, uh, let me just tell you a few things that I really like what they did with the specialist weapon. I mean, not spec, excuse me. The, the, the submachine guns, because submachine guns usually suck in, in, um, in, in, in Call of Duty games, except when it comes to Treyarch. They do a really good job at that. And, the, and now let's go to the attachments. Just, you can add five attachments in one site. I really love that. I'm in love with attachments. That's another thing I like. And the secondary weapons are actually oh, useful God. now. I really, really like that because other games, your secondary was pretty bad that I couldn't handle. I know Black Ops 2 did. Treyarch just knows how to do their stuff here. He knows how to make guns. That's for sure. And then there's the specialists. I love the specialists. I don't want to spend too much time on them, but they're they're just uh, because I'll make a separate video on showing all everything about them. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably come out tomorrow, or if not the day after. So um, just stay tuned for that. They'll have all the all them just show you. I'll have a recording every single one of them using their weapon in the build and the ability. So to watch that one. Perks. Perks are actually perks now. I like that. Perks should be perks, not as something you need to use. Or that is like, kind of hard to play without. So, another thing I like about perks. Um, okay, now let's get to the mo movements and stuff. Like the movement. Okay, I like the thrust jump. It gives you way more control compared to the EXO abilities. You can't really control it when you're going using the XL, but this one is so much easier to control everything. You can control it so easy, it's just amazing. I can just, it's just so easy. And the wall runs, I love that. It makes any, you can make any cool kill look so cool. And then the slide is even better. I love the slides. It just, it can, it's just so, so much better. And plus, it doesn't do an XL ping. Uh, when you do use a slide on like, well not XO, but you know just on the ma mini map when it does circle around you. And so it doesn't do that when you slide, it does do it when you jump unless you use a perk to stop it, but I see that very useless in this game. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the movement. I love the wall run. Now let's get to modes. I really like how... Safeguard, let's just get to talk about Safeguard. It's okay. I... I can... I wouldn't. I don't. You. I won't play it myself that often. But it's it's interesting. It's a new mode. And now what I like what they change in the other in the other mode. Let's get to um, yeah, domination. So instead of the first thing you capture is worth 200, it's 50 now. And when you kill somebody while you're capturing, it gives you 200 points for killing. And now and that's about it. But and then there's. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed like they did a lot of good to it. Instead of giving 50 for killing and 50 for picking up the tag, 50 for killing and 50 and 100 for picking up the tag. So now people are more more motivated to pick up the tags. So that's what I'm really liking about the the modes. So anyways, that's it. I'm running out of time. So I might have went over the video a little, but. I hope you guys like. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and stay tuned for more and for more Call of Duty Black Ops beta.